right, good morning. And uh, welcome to this special event. Um, today's event uh, is sponsored by the Center for Cosmology and Astrophysics, Physics, and it's, it's an event to remember our friend and colleague, uh, Professor Gary Feigner, who died earlier this year. We've brought in three very distinguished speakers and one um, local, and I'd like to introduce him, Professor Terry Walker, who will make his opening remarks. Yes. I know you're confused because I said distinguished. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, that's a good spirit to start this in. Um, and I know I heard John, I, I think he said the word, but I'll say it just in case. This is supposed to be a celebration of Gary's life and his contributions to science, which were inspiring and numerous. And because I usually freewheel stuff and I didn't want to say something that was going to go on the record that might be inappropriate in these controversial litigious times, I'm going to actually read what I wrote, and it's a note that I wrote to his wife, Sway Lee, to encapsulate these uh, proceedings. And um, Gary was a very close friend of mine. He came to Ohio State 30 years ago, and he had the simple task to build a world-leading cosmology program. Uh, I'm not sure many people thought he was going to be successful, but I think the evidence is there now to show that he succeeded beyond the community's wildest expectations. Looking around this room, he meant a lot to many people in this room. I just did a quick count uh, yesterday sometime, and I think he directly had his hand in the hiring of 15 faculty over his career at Ohio State, all of whom except maybe for two are uh, still here. Are you, are you here, Bob? I'm here today. Okay. <laughs> and it's clear to me, because I, I did a lot of work along with other people in this room, that had it not been for the building of that group, and Gary's reputation throughout the world that we wouldn't have started the Center for Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics and it wouldn't be the success that it is today. And so we all owe him a debt of thanks for that, both in terms of his prestige and his ability to make good decisions. The personal part for me, and I'm a person who worked very closely with Gary for 25 years and I'm still here to talk about it. Um, he was a great collaborator but not just because he wrote hundreds of papers and some spectacular review articles that are classics in the field and received many awards. Um, the thing that made Gary a great scientist and a truly needed mentor for me because I needed someone to put the brakes on sometime is that Gary always insisted that we do, something, do things right sometimes infuriating me because I have a Chicago-esque type of uh, uh, per personality and I was a little I came out of that group and I was a little bit on uh, untethered at times trying to get out interesting ideas he and Sway Lee were great friends to my family my kids called Gary Grandpa Gary and I think he liked that um, I call Gary Grandpa Gary and I'm pretty sure he did not like that <laughs> um, Today's speakers uh, touch on Gary's career and his life uh, throughout the ages at different points. I'm really happy that they agreed to come. I'm, uh, I think that you'll enjoy their talks today. I'm going to act as the host and introduce each one of them, and I hope that you enjoy what they have to say. So, I have some very funny pictures of them in here that I'm going to send to Sway Lee, but that's just for me to look at. <laughs> 